What's going on YouTube? JT is born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews and in this video we're going to be talking about Batman Detective Comics issue number 1078. Uh, this one is written by Ram V. Dan Waters does the backup and then um, I think Jason Alexander does the main artwork on the first storyline and the backup storyline. I'll have to check when I look back again but anyway so this is the next chapter in this bi-weekly event for Detective Comics. Also, to the left right there, Justly vs. Godzilla vs. Kong number 3. Can't wait for that thing. It's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, but anyway, so yes, Batman is still on the process of being hung on dead row, or on death row, or whatever it is, whatever you call it. So he's still in the process of getting ready to be hung. Uh, why other members of the Justice League or nobody else outside is there to show up is... Beyond me, um, I, I assume that not everybody in the world has been mind-controlled, in which case, why are the Orkhams just focusing on Gotham or something? I don't know the exact reason, but I feel like somebody from the outside should be coming in. But anyway, so Batman's still battling the Asthma Demon from within, still going on. He still hasn't been hung yet. Uh, this is a very slow, 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 slow story at this point. It's like, my goodness, just get to the point already. It's been going on for so long. But also on the side, you know, Catwoman's been working with her little team. You have uh, Jade, and then you have Shoes, you know, Leanne Harper. I like Leanne's uh, design right here. I think this is a pretty cool-looking design, kind of a mixture of Catwoman burglar stuff and then her mom's mask and all that. Uh, then, of course, Jade's doing her thing. And Oracle's off doing her stuff as well. Selena's doing that. You have Oracle. You have uh, Cassandra Kane, Batgirl, uh, also kind of working together with Mr. Freeze to try and, you know, ultimately work to save Batman. And right as he's about to be kind of, like, right before he's hung, also you have Azrael in there, too. He's fighting off the, uh, the little werewolf monster. Uh, Selena, like apprehends Prince Arzen, and then, you know, Mama Orgham or whatever is like, eh, go ahead and kill him. Uh, if you're willing to, like, do this, you have to be willing to kind of go, like, call your bluff or whatever. And then just as the issue ends, it seems Batman is about to be hung. So um, not much in terms of progress at all. It just shows that all the moving pieces are kind of at play there. Uh, then in the backup, we have Iko, you know, the uh, other Catwoman who's on some date with some girl, and she comes to find out that the product that this girl has been selling is going to be distributed, like, at a school of sorts, and she has kind of like a battle of conscience with them. It's like, hmm, this chick is kind of hot, and I kind of like to date her, but uh, doing this stuff in your school, uh, that's just not cool. So she puts on the Catwoman suit and she stops her and she's like, guess what? We're kind of through. So yeah, like I said, that was the main, the, the backup story that was written by Casper Vision guards or whatnot. And really not much else really happens. Not sure why we really needed that storyline. It doesn't really do, tie into like this org cam thing at all, but I guess it adds more depth to Iko's character and kind of shows her like, in a more positive light that she kind of has her own little code of sorts. But, again, do we really need it as the backup within this thing? Um, I just feel like so many of these backup storylines don't really, like, add much to the main storylines uh, anymore for a lot of these books. Uh, last, The last uh, one I liked with uh, Jade and uh, Leanne because that was kind of an interesting relationship I wanted to see unfold more because there was a bit of a mystery with her kind of, like, being aged up uh, so many years. You kind of notice that with a lot of DC characters, uh, like, John Kent got aged up substantially. Um, Leanne, of course, has been aged up quite a bit uh, from where she's at. I don't even know, like, Leanne's age or whatever. I assume she's probably a teenager, but who even knows at this point? But, uh, yeah, I mean, this issue itself, like, it was just kind of all right. There's some neat-looking artwork and some cool-looking visuals at times, I suppose. But it really didn't, like, feel like much in terms of plot progression has really gone forward all that much. I mean, Batman still isn't, like being hanged yet uh i still question why members of the justice league or whatnot well i guess they disbanded at this point but i don't even know like continuity within dc is kind of all over the place but um why there's not more people involved to try and like free him and whatnot i i mean if you look at this like that's the issue sometimes when you're like playing within a larger sandbox with other titles like uh going on at the same time you start to question like why aren't other characters here uh, like if it was something kind of smaller more focused then you can understand why other members don't show up but you know batman's about to be publicly hanged i feel like somebody should like show up to kind of help out in this situation but hey it is what it is i suppose maybe there's probably just like at this point oh gotham being taken over the 500th time the bat family always has its covered so it is what it is but, uh, yeah, anyways, um, uh, issue itself was just kind of okay. Uh, it feels like I said, we're just moving at a snail's pace with this storyline. Um, I've appreciated that it has remained focused on this, but my goodness, like sometimes you just kind of got to get to the point and hopefully by the next issue, we'll kind of get to like the conclusion of this Orcam thing because it's been going on for a really long time and I'm starting to kind of get <laughs> impatient a little bit. Um, 
because it just keeps going and going and going and going. So, and the Orcams have never been like the most exciting of characters to kind of read about. So, but it is what it is, I suppose. If you like this issue or have any thoughts on it, post your comments down below. Uh, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to your channel for more content. I got one more DC comic book review coming up, like right after this one. That's going to be the latest issue of Green Arrow. And that'll be it in terms of the DC comic book reviews for this week. And then I will also be back later on today to get my thoughts on Godzilla minus one. So that to me is the most exciting thing about today. So look forward to all that stuff. All right. As always, take care now. Bye bye then. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.